Good, full screen. And I'm really happy <clears throat> that our next speaker is uh, Sergei Garyanov, who is now with uh, Hebei Normal University, right here? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. So uh, he is going to, to present some new results on killing iron graphs, and uh, the floor is yours. Thank you very much for the introduction. Uh, the title of my talk is Killing the Meyer Graphs with a spread given by the cosets of a subgroup. And this talk is based on joint work in progress with Re7 and Dadzhao. We can see the indirected graph without loops and multiple edges. A K regular graph on V vertices is called H regular with parameters VK lambda if every pair of adjacent vertices has lambda common neighbors. An H regular graph with parameters VK lambda is called stronger regular if parameter, with parameters VK lambda uh, mu if every pair of distinct non adjacent vertices has mu common neighbors. A clique in a regular graph is called M regular if every vertex that does not belong to the clique is adjacent to precisely M vertices from the clique. For an M regular clique, the number M is called the nexus. Of this clique. Uh, for the clique number uh, omega of gamma of a strong irregular graph, uh, the well known Der Sart Hoffman bound holds the clique number is at most 1 minus k over theta min, where theta min is the smallest eigenvalue of gamma, which is uh, so theta min is negative. A clique in a strong irregular graph is regular if and only if it has uh, one minus k over theta mean vertices, such a clique is called a del star clique. In 1981, Neumeyer proved that an edge regular graph, which is uh, vertex transitive, edge transitive, and has a regular clique, is stronger regular. Neumeyer then asked, is it true that every edge regular graph with a regular clique is stronger regular? Uh, uh, a non-complete H regular graph with parameters VK lambda containing an M regular S clique is said to be a Neumeyer graph with parameters VK lambda MS. It follows that if a Neumeyer graph with parameters VK lambda MS has an M regular clique of size S, then all cliques of size S in this graph are M regular. Thus, the notion of a Neumeyer graph is a generalization of the notion of a strong regular graph with a Delsart clique. For a Neumeyer graph with parameters VK lambda MS, the number M is called the nexus of this graph because all the cliques, all the regular cliques in, in this graph share, uh, share this, this, this number. A Neumeyer graph that is not strongly regular is said to be a strictly Neumeyer graph. And this definition is uh, analogous to the definition of strictly desired graphs. For a normal graph, a spread is a partition of the vertex set into regular cliques. And here is the outline uh, of my talk. It's easier to understand it uh, knowing the main definitions. First, I will focus on strictly normal graphs with Nexus 1. Uh, we will discuss all the known results, including some recent results. Then we will move to strictly normal graph with nexus greater than one. And finally, uh, I will present new results uh, uh, that, uh, so these new results are related bo uh, to both uh, of the cases above. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, the the section with new results entitled is uh, is entitled Kelly normal graphs with a spread given by the cosets of a subgroup. We will um, formulate necessary and sufficient conditions for a Kelly uh, graph to be a normal graph with a spread given by the cosets of a subgroup. Then we uh, will discuss an algorithm for enumeration of uh, such Kelly Neumeyer graphs, and uh, I will present some numerical results. 
the first uh, construction of trichinomai graphs uh, was given by Greaves and Pullen in uh, 2018. They constructed an infinite family of trichinomai graphs with one regular clicks. Here is the detailed uh, explanation of the construction, but uh, the most important thing is that their graphs are Kelly graphs over uh, some abelian group and the spread they they all of them have uh, have a spread and this spread is given by the cross sets of a, of a uh, of a subgroup of this abelian group so this is uh, the most interesting thing uh, for us now uh, here is some details let me skip them all uh, all of them can be found in the paper uh, I, uh, I, I cite here. Let, uh, let us mention that uh, the smallest uh, graph from their first construction has parameters uh, 289214. Uh, and we will return to this, uh, this graph later. Then uh, Gavriluk and Garainov uh, searched for examples in a collection of uh, known Kelly disagraphs and found four more strictly normal graphs with parameters uh, 248214. And later, uh, Greaves and Pullen generalized one of, the, uh, of these graphs and uh, formulated another uh, and found another infinite family of strictly normal graphs so they just called their paper another construction of edge regular graphs with regular clicks uh, their construction was based on antipodal distance regular graphs uh, a graph gamma of damage d is called distance regular if any two vertices x and y uh, if for any two vertices x and y the number of vertices at distance i from x and distance j from y depends only on i and j and the distance from x and uh, to y it is clear that distance regular graphs are h regular a distance regular graph gamma of diameter d is called a antipodal if the relation of being at distance d or distance zero is an equivalence relation on the vertices of gamma with equivalence classes of size a And the second construction proposed by Greaves and Kuhlen was as follows. Let gamma be an A antipodal distance regular graph with diameter 3 with H regular parameters Vicky lambda such that A is a proper divisor of lambda plus 2. Then uh, put T to be equal to lambda plus 2 over A and take T disjoint copies of uh, the graph gamma. For every antipodal class H and gamma, take the corresponding antipodal classes H1, uh, so on HT uh, in uh, each of the graphs gamma 1, so on gamma T respectively, and connect any two vertices uh, from the union of these classes to form a one regular clique of size AT. And denote by F T of gamma the resulting graph. And Greaves and Kuhlen proved that this graph is a strictly normal graph having parameters uh, given on the, uh, on the slide uh, and containing a spread. So the nexus is one, as you can see. So both uh, their constructions deal with graphs uh, with nexus one. Let us give some comments. Uh, if gamma is the uh, icosahedron, the graph of, uh, of the icosahedron, then A equals 2, lambda equals 2, T equals 2, and F2 of gamma is one of the four strictly normal graphs with parameters uh, 24, 8, 2, 1, 4 found previously. The other three graphs, however, can be obtained in a similar way by choosing an appropriate matching of, uh, of the uh, antipodal classes in the two copies of the icosahedrons.
uh, let gamma be a simple undirected graph and e greater or equal to one uh, be an integer, the ball with radius e and center u, uh, which is a vertex, is the set of vertices of gamma with distance at most e to u in gamma. A subset, a subset C of the vertex set is called a perfect E code in gamma if the balls with radius E and centers in C form a partition of V of, v of gamma. In particular, a perfect one code is a subset of vertices C such that uh, every vertex not in C is adjacent to a unique element of C. So we have to say that C uh, uh, can consist of vertices that are non-adjacent pairwise. And uh, let us present a generalization of the uh, two constructions of strictly normal graphs with nexus one. Let gamma one, gamma t be edge regular graphs instead of distance regular graphs. With parameters Ricky lambda and such that each uh, graph gamma i has a partition of its vertices into perfect one codes of size a, where a is a proper divisor of lambda plus two. Uh, it is well known that in distance regular graphs, antipodal classes. Uh, Are perfect codes, are perfect one codes. So we uh, substitute the notion of an antipodal class with the notion of a perfect one code. And uh, similarly, we define T to be equal lambda plus two over A for any L from the set one to uh, from one to T, let H one L, H V over A L denote the perfect one code that partition the vertex set of gamma L. If T is greater or equal to two, we also take a T minus one pupil of permutations from uh, the uh, symmetric group uh, of the set uh, from one to V over A denoted by pi. Uh, pi uh, capital consists of uh, T minus one permutations P two, so on P T. Using these uh, graphs and the pupil Pi, we define the graph uh, F pi of gamma one, so on gamma t as follows. Take the disjoint union of the graphs gamma one, so on gamma t for any i from the set from one to v over a, add an edge between any two distinct vertices from the union h i one, h p two of i two, uh, union so on, union h p t of i uh, t. Which uh, and this gives uh, uh, one regular clique of size AT. And recently, uh, together with my colleagues, uh, we proved the following theorem: uh, the graph F pi of gamma one so on gamma t has a spread of one regular cliques, each of size lambda plus two, and uh, F pi of gamma one so on gamma t is an edge regular graph with parameters. Uh, Vt uh, k plus lambda plus one lambda. We know that the converse to, uh, to this theorem above is also to the theorem above uh, is also true. Let gamma be a normal graph with parameters Vk lambda one s uh, that have. Uh, that has a spread of one regular cliques, the graph gamma circle created by removing edges from the cliques of this spread in gamma is also edge regular. Uh, it follows from, from uh, a theorem by Socher. It also follows that connected components of gamma circle can be partitioned into perfect one codes and the parameters uh, have the same restrictions on, as the conditions of the statement or the theorem above. And let us formulate a corollary of the general construction in the case for which uh, t equals one uh, can occur the construction 
can result in a strictly normal drug. However, this is not necessarily true in all cases when t equals 1. The following corollary shows that for t greater or equal to 2, our construction always results in a strictly normal drug. Okay, just, uh, and this is just the formulation. Uh, let, let us uh, give some comments uh, on the generalization. Known as the morphic distance regular Taylor graph with the same parameters give many new examples in the case t greater or equal to 2. The four strictly normal graphs on uh, 24 vertices from uh, found in 3 are given by a pair of icosahedrons, and the only difference between them is the choice of the permutation that matches the. Uh, Antipodal classes or the perfect codes, the perfect one codes. The generalized construction covers both constructions from two and four. Uh, the cases t equals one and uh, t uh, maybe should be not just t greater or equal to two, but t greater or equal to one, uh, respectively. For t equals one, we can construct three new normal graphs. Uh, strictly normal graph with parameters uh, given on the on the slide, and eight graphs with parameters seven, uh, 78, 17, 4, 1, 6. Uh, all of them are Kelly graphs with a spread given by the courses of a subgroup. Uh, in seven, uh, this corollary was independently proved. And an infinite class of strictly normal graphs based on the general construction was obtained. Uh, we uh, considered uh, infinite edge regular lattices and gave some examples. Let us discuss these examples. Uh, Eisenstein uh, integers are the complex numbers of the form. Uh, Z of omega equals uh, the set uh, B plus C omega, where B and C are integers, and omega is a spe uh, special complex number. They form a ring with respect to usual addition and multiplication. The norm mapping is defined as follows. Uh, for an Eisenstein integer B plus C omega, the norm of B of uh, B, the norm of B plus C omega is B square uh, plus C square minus BC. Uh, the norm is given by, uh, by this mapping. The norm mapping is no, uh, N is known to be multiplicative. It is well known that uh, the uh, Eisenstein integers form an Euclidean domain, in particular, a principal ideal domain. The units of uh, Z of omega are plus minus one, plus minus omega, and plus minus omega square. The natural geometrical interpretation of Eisenstein integers is the six regular triangular grid uh, in the complex plane. Uh, the grid Z of omega, we use, if it does not lead to a contradiction, we use the same notation Z of omega for the triangular grid. The grid Z of omega has exactly six elements of norm seven. Uh, they are given on the slide, and we consider the ideal I generated by an element of norm seven, uh, say by the element two minus omega. The elements of I form a perfect one code in the triangular grid. Note that I is an additive subgroup of index seven. In, in the group or in, in the group of Eisenstein integers be denoted by I plus the seven core sets uh, Z, uh, Z of Omega factored by I plus give a partition of the triangular grid uh, into seven perfect one codes. Take the following two additive subgroups. Uh, Uh, 
actually they uh, they are subgroups uh, not only in Z of Omega but in uh, I plus as well. Um, know that the, there exists uh, a block of uh, four balls of radius one such that the additive shifts of the block by the elements of T1 and T2 give two tessellations of the triangular grid. And we consider uh, the quotient groups uh, G1, which is uh, Z of omega over T1, and G2, which is Z of omega over T2. And uh, these groups are isomorphic to Z2 plus Z14 and Z28, respectively. And we define uh, two Kelly graphs, uh, already finite Kelly graphs on 28. Uh, On the on the quotient groups consisting of 28 uh, cos sets, and uh, the connection uh, set of each of these Kelly graphs uh, consists of uh, the units of the triangular grid. Of the uh, more precisely, consists of um, the cos sets. With uh, whose uh, representatives are the units of, of this uh, uh, of the ring of Eisenstein integers, and we know that delta one and delta two can be can be interpreted as quotient graphs of the triangular grid by T one and T two respectively. Each of the graphs delta one and delta two is edge regular with parameters twenty eight. 62 and admits a partition into perfect one codes of size A equals four. These perfect codes uh, are given by uh, the cos sets of a subgroup. And these partitions uh, also uh, are also given by the original partition of the triangular grid into perfect one codes. We then apply uh, the general construction, which gives two strictly normal graphs with parameters uh, 28, 9, 2, 1, 4. The graph obtained from delta 1 is isomorphic to the smallest graph from the first Greaves and Fullens construction, and the graph obtained from delta 2 is new. Uh, in the following, we can see the count, uh, countably infinite uh, graphs with vertices consisting of elements of the vector space r to the power of n for some integer n greater or equal to 3. The elements of r to the power of n are called n dimensional vectors, and we identify the elements with their coordinates with respect to the standard basis of r to the power of n. Let x be a vector, an n dimensional vector, for a set. A uh, for a subset of real numbers, A, the vector x is an A vector if the value of all uh, of its entries lie in A. The weight of x is the number of its non zero entries. Let n uh, greater or equal to 3 be a positive integer and let m be an even positive integer. Let S and M1 denote the set of all n dimensional 1 minus 1 0 vectors of weight m whose sum of coordinates is 0, and let S and M2 denote the set of all one dimen n dimensional uh, 1 minus 1 0 vectors of weight m. Let G and M1 and G and M2 be the group generated by these sets S, respectively. Proposition for any positive uh, even integer M and any integer N such that N greater or equal to M plus 1, the following statements hold. Uh, G, G and M1 is equal to G and M2. Uh, GN21, which consists of all n dimensional vectors with integer coordinates such that the sum of coordinates is equal to zero. Uh, and GNM2 is equal to GN2 
two, which consists of all n-dimensional vectors with integer coordinates such that the sum of coordinates is even. And we define uh, infinite graphs, g n m one and g n m two, uh, over these two two groups generated by s n m uh, one and s n m two. Um, a graph gamma uh, with infinitely many vertices is H regular with parameters K lambda if it is K regular and each pair of adjacent vertices have exactly lambda common neighbors. In the following, we showed that gamma NM1 and gamma NM2 are infinite H regular graphs and give the parameters of these graphs in terms of uh, binomial coefficients. Here is a uh, proposition. For any positive integer m and any integer n such that n is greater or equal to m plus one, the following statements hold. The graph gamma nm one is an induced subgraph in gamma nm two. Gamma uh, nm one is an infinite edge regular graph with parameters k one lambda one such that k uh, one and lambda one are given by the uh, by the formulas and gamma and M2 is an infinite edge regular graph with parameters k1, uh, sorry, k, k2, lambda 2, it should be, uh, such that uh, k2 uh, and lambda 2 are also given by the formulas. And small remark if, if n is less than 3m over 2, then lambda 1 is equal to 0 and lambda 2 is equal to 0. Otherwise, lambda 1 is greater. Uh, than zero and lambda two is greater than zero. And the generating sets S uh, N21 and SN22 are known as root systems A N minus one and D N. A2 root lattice is isomorphic to the six regular triangular grid, and the root lattices A3 and D3 are both isomorphic to the tetrahedral octahedral honeycomb. So our constructions. Uh, of infinite edge regular graphs generalize uh, the construction of uh, generalize the case the two dimensional case of the six regular triangular grid and uh, we then search for uh, subgroup perfect one codes in uh, these generalized uh, lattices and in the following tables, we present the number of cases for which we find strictly normal graphs using the graphs gamma and m1 and gamma and m2 respectively. The first column of the tables give the corresponding value of n, uh, which is the dimension. The second column gives the normal graph uh, parameters of the graphs we find through the construction. And the last column gives the number of pairwise non isomorphic strictly normal graphs we find from the construction. So uh, the case, uh, the case uh, 289214 is the smallest case, then we were able, we were able to find two graphs. Then uh, you can see that for n equals four, uh, in the first table and for n equals three in the second table, we have the same pupil of parameters. And this is because, uh, as I mentioned, the root lattices A3 and D3 are both isomorphic to the tetrahedral octahedral honeycomb. And we were able to find uh, a subgroup perfect one code there and apply uh, our general construction. Then we were able to find uh, several more examples in further dimensions. However, we have not been able to find more examples of perfect codes uh, and quotients of this infinite uh, graph that lead to strictly normal graphs. Therefore, we ask the following, what strictly normal graphs can be obtained from quotients of infinite edge regular graphs gamma nm1 and gamma nm2? Well, we are interested in uh, in solution of this problem, and we plan to uh, to try uh, to solve it. 
in the future. Uh, we can also use two infinite edge regular graphs to get a new infinite edge regular graph by taking the Cartesian product of the graphs. Let gamma one and gamma two be two infinite edge regular graphs with parameters k1 lambda and k2 lambda. It is important that lambda is the same, uh, respectively. Then the Cartesian product of gamma one and gamma two is an edge regular graph with parameters k1 plus k2 and the same lambda. Consider the Cartesian product of two six regular triangular grids. The resulting infinite uh, graph is H regular with parameters 12, 2. This graph has a subgroup perfect one code, and there exists an H regular quotient graph with parameters uh, 20, 52, 12, 2. We then apply the general construction to this graph, which gives a strictly normal graph having parameters 52, 15, 2, 1, 4. So the next is, is uh, 1 again. So we, we, we still talk about uh, strictly normal graphs with nexus 1. And this graph is isomorphic to the second largest graph from the first Greaves and Cullen's uh, construction. As we have seen this example using Cartesian products of infinite uh, H-regular lattices, we ask the following. What strictly normal graph can be obtained from quotients of Cartesian products of infinite H-regular graphs? The spectrum of a, gra a graph of, of a finite graph gamma is the multi-set of eigenvalues of the, adjacency, of the adjacency matrix of gamma. Two graphs are called uh, cospectral if they have the same spectra. The following switching, uh, called now one uh, two-hole switching, which produces cospectral graphs, was discovered in eight, so in 2019. Applied in, in nine, uh, also in 2019, uh, to obtain new stronger regular graphs and discussed in, uh, in more details in 10. Uh, so uh, by two of the uh, three original orders, two and one. Uh, and here we uh, we give the uh, the description of uh, WQH switching. Let gamma be a graph whose vertex set is partitioned as C1, C2, and D. Assume that C1 uh, uh, and C2 have the same sizes, and that the induced subgraphs on C1, C2, and C1 uh, union C2 are regular where the degrees in the induced subgraphs on C1 and C2 are the same. Suppose that all X in D satisfy one of the following conditions. Gamma of X uh, intersects C1. Gamma of X is uh, the set of neighbors of X. Uh, gamma of X intersects C1 uh, has the same size as gamma of X intersects C2. Or, gamma of x intersects c1 uh, union c2 belongs to uh, c1 uh, to the set uh, c1 c2 so gamma of x intersects c1 inter uh, intersects c1 uh, union c2 is either c1 or c2 construct a graph gamma prime from gamma by modifying the edges between c1 union c2 and d as follows uh, if uh, so, gamma prime of x intersects C1 union C2 equals uh, so the, the resulting adjacency uh, gamma prime of x uh, intersects C1 uh, union C2 is equal to C1. If gamma of x intersects C1 union C2 is C C2. Uh, gamma prime of x intersects C1 union C2 is equal to C2 if uh, condition 2 holds and the, uh, the intersection is equal to C1 and we uh, leave the edges untouched 
we keep the, uh, the edges if uh, condition one holds for all x from d. Then gamma prime is cospector with gamma. And we were able to apply uh, WQH switching for the general construction. Here is um, some details. We just described uh, the sets C1, C2, and D for the switching. But uh, what is more important uh, uh, is uh, a corollary for any Pi pi prime p minus one tuples of elements uh, of the symmetric group from uh, of the set from one to v over a the graphs f pi uh, gamma one so on gamma t and f uh, and the switched graph f uh, p prime gamma one so on gamma t are spectral. So um, this means that if we take the same uh, graphs, uh, the same H regular graphs, uh, the same uh, T tuple of H regular graphs, gamma one, so on, gamma T for the general construction, then it, it does not matter what is the way we match their uh, uh, perfect codes by the permutations, the resulting graphs are spectral. And it would be interesting to investigate how many pairwise non isomorphic graphs can be constructed using our construction. In doing so, we may find a prolific construction of spectral strictly normal graphs. Also, this has not been investigated in detail. We have already observed several pairwise non isomorphic graphs with relatively small order. The four strictly normal graphs with parameters. Uh, 248214 obtained from two copies of uh, the icosahedron ACA spectral. Uh, so we uh, move to uh, the second part of the talk concerning uh, strictly normal graphs with nexus greater than one. In 11, Evans, Garayanov, and Panachenko found the smallest strictly normal graph, which is a Kelly graph. Uh, has parameters 16, 9, 4, 2, 4. So it has uh, a regular clicks with nexus 2 and contains a spread given by the cosines of a subgroup. It can be constructed by switching edges in the affine polar graph VO plus 4, 2, which is isomorphic to the complement of uh, 4 times 4 lattice. We then generalize the smallest strictly normal graph, and for every positive integer i, by switching uh, in certain affine polar graphs, found a strictly normal graph with four to the power of i plus one vertices containing a two uh, powered by i regular clique and having parameters of this affine polar graphs as h regular graphs. However, the graphs for i uh, greater or equal to two were not vertex transitive, and it was an open question whether there exists a vertex transitive strictly normal graph with nexus greater than one except the smallest strictly normal graph. In this project, we solved this uh, question in positive. In general, we are interested in the following problem on uh, strictly normal graphs. For, for which positive integers m does there exist a strictly normal graph with an m regular clique? All previously known strictly normal graphs had regular clicks with nexus equal to a power of two, and the only known strictly normal graph uh, having regular clicks with nexus greater than one were found in uh, the paper 11. Motivated by the fact that many known examples of strictly normal graphs are Kelly graphs with a spread given by the cosets of a subgroup, we decided to have a general look at Kelly normal graphs with a spread given by the cosets of a subgroup. Uh, before uh, we will discuss uh, the main results of this talk, let me recall the definition uh, of uh, equitable partition, of an equitable partition, uh, which will be used in, in the uh, next talk. 
as well. Let gamma be a k-regular graph with the vertex set v of gamma. Let pi equals v, uh, v1, uh, so on v, vt, be a partition of v of gamma into t part, a t partition. The partition pi is said to be an equitable t partition. If for any i and j from the set from 1 to t, there, there is a constant p i j such that any vertex from the part v i is adjacent to precisely p i j vertices from the part v j. The square matrix uh, p pi consisting of the uh, constants p i j is called the quotient matrix of the equitable t partition pi. And uh, let us present new results. Uh, let G be a finite group, a, H be a subgroup with right cosets H, G1, so on, H, G, N, with uh, the property that G1 is equal to the identity. Further, let S be a subset of G uh, such that one does not belong to S. Then the partition H and G minus H is an equitable two partition in the Kelly graph uh, generated in the Kelly graph over G generated by S, uh, if, uh, if and only if this, this two partition is an equitable two partition. Uh, if, the following two, uh, if the following conditions hold, hold uh, one, uh, the intersection uh, S intersect H is closed under inversion, and there exists. Uh, there exist subsets T2, T3, Tn in S such that the size of each Ti is M. Uh, Ti consists of representatives of the coset HGI, and the union of T Ti denoted by T is closed under inversion. In this case, the induced subgraph, the subgraph induced by H is the size of, uh, is a regular subgraph with nexus M. Um, the, the inner uh, valency is the size of S intersect H. And then the subgraph induced by G minus H is a regular subgraph with nexus the size of S minus H and the inner a valency is uh, the size of S minus M. In other words, we have the following quotient matrix. And uh, as a corollary, we get the following. Suppose gamma is a Kelly graph uh, over a group G uh, with generating set S uh, with group equitable two partition corresponding to uh, to, to subgroup H of index M. Then gamma has an equitable N partition X with the parts, the cosets of the group uh, H and quotient matrix given on the slide. Uh, then we uh, investigate H regularity of uh, special Kelly graphs with coset equitable partition. Let G be a group uh, H be a subgroup and S be a subset of G that does not that does not contain one, uh, where H and G minus H is an equitable two partition with corresponding sets T two T n so on T n and T denotes the union of T i's. Furthermore, assume that I H star, uh, which is the set of non-identity elements of H intersect S is equal to the empty set. So S has no elements from the subgroup H. Then gamma is H regular with parameters VK lambda, if and uh, only if for all G in T, the condition, the size of TG intersect T is equal to lambda holds. So somehow we have a, a partition into not perfect one codes, but uh, inter uh, completely regular codes of radius one. And uh, somehow this uh, 
uh, a sort of generalization of the general construction. But this is not uh, the final generalization, probably. Uh, let, uh, and here, uh, this slide presents uh, necessary and sufficient conditions for a Kelly graph to be a normal graph with a spread given by the cosets of a subgroup. So this slide is the main slide uh, in this talk, I guess. Let G be a group, H be a subgroup, uh, and S be a subset in G such that one does not belong to S, where H, G minus H is an equitable two partition with corresponding sets T2, so on, Tn, and the union of Ti's to be T. Furthermore, assume that H star uh, is a subset of S, so that S is equal to the union H star union T. Then the Cayley graph. A Kelly graph GS is an H regular and thus normal graph with parameter of 3K lambda if and only if the following two conditions hold. First, for all H from uh, H star, the size of TH intersect T is lambda minus the size of uh, H plus 2. And second, for all G in T, the size of Tg intersect T is equal to lambda minus 2m plus 2. And as a corollary, we get the parameters of, uh, of, of this uh, Kelly Neumeyer graph with the spread given by the process of a subgroup. And S uh, is the click size is equal, S the click size is equal to the size uh, of the subgroup. This slide contains uh, several uh, ways to describe the smallest strictly normal graph as a Kelly graph. I will not go uh, into in, in details, but I'll let me mention that uh, the, the three groups are C2 uh, times C8, D6, the dihydro, D16, the dihedral group, and C2 times D8, the dihedral group uh, on eight elements. In all cases, uh, a Kelly graph uh, of the form uh, K G H star union T is the smallest strictly normal graph with a spread given by the cosets of H and parameters uh, given on the slide. The four graphs from the icosahedron can be described as in this way as Kelly graph over uh, the symmetric group S4. Two, two of them, and over the group C2 times A4, uh, the, the other two. And two known strictly normal graphs with parameters 28, 9, 2, 1, 4 can be described uh, in this way, uh, in this general way as well. And let me uh, Discuss an algorithm for enumeration of Kelly Nomai graphs with a spread given by the cosets of a subgroup. Uh, first, we need uh, a lemma and a corollary. Let G be a finite group and H uh, be a subgroup with cosets H, G1, so on H, G, N, with G, N equals 1. Then, for any I from the set 2, so on N, the stabilizer of uh, the setwise stabilizer of H uh, of the coset HGI lies in the stabilizer of the subgroup H. And as a corollary, we get that uh, each, element, each automorphism from the stabilizer of this uh, coset preserves the partition of the uh, other n minus 2. Um, code sets. So uh, an automorphism from the from the stabilizer of a code set stabilizes the subgroup, stabilizes uh, this code set, and stabilizes and preserves the partition of the other n minus two code sets. And uh, let let me describe the algorithm. A feasible tuple of parameters Rik lambda ms of a normal graph uh, 
is uh, the initial data of this algorithm, we also need a finite uh, group G of size of order V, where, where v, v is the first parameter. We need a subgroup H in G of order S with cosets HG1, HGN, where G1 equals 1, the automorphism group uh, of the group G, the stabilizer of uh, some cosets, say H, G2, and the result of this algorithm is uh, the list of Kelly nomai graphs with a spread Kelly nomai graphs over G, or with a spread given by the cosets of the subgroup H with parameters VK lambda MS. And each graph is given as uh, a Kelly graph G, uh, comma H star union T, where H star and T. Uh, uh, as we discussed. And uh, here is a, a simple description of the algorithm. So basically, th this algorithm uh, uh, is not so efficient. I mean, uh, th this uh, it consists of n minus one embedded cycles. The first cycle runs over non-equivalent uh, m subsets T2. Uh, in the first uh, in in the first cross set H G two non equivalent under uh, the action of the stabilizer of this cross set, so we uh, reduce the number of uh, possible um, subset T two. Then, for e each such T two, we enumerate all correct M subsets T three in the second. Uh, Set HG3 correct means that, uh, in the sense of inverses, the inverses of T3 uh, should not overflow uh, the set T2 and uh, further sets T4, so on, Tn, and so on for all correct M subsets T4. Uh, sorry, this is a uh, typo here, should be HG4. And so on for all correct M subsets Tn uh, in G uh, in uh, Hgn. Uh, so uh, and then we check the necessary and sufficient conditions, and if they hold, we save this Kelly graph, uh, this Kelly uh, normal graph. And uh, let us give some uh, comments on the algorithm. Feasible tuples of parameters of normal graphs can be computed according to necessary conditions on the existence of normal graphs. Feasible tuples of parameters uh, for strictly normal graphs up to 64 vertices can be found in a recent uh, paper. The multiplication tables of the groups and the generators of their automorphism groups can be taken from uh, GAP, representatives of classes of conjugate subgroups of appropriate order can be taken from GAP as well, and having the automorphism group of the group and the representatives of classes of conjugate uh, subgroups, it is possible to compute the list of all non-equivalent subgroups. The isomorphism Test tests for the resulting graph can be done in Sage or Magma, and probably in GAP as well. And let let me uh, give the numerical data. All our computational efforts so far are devoted to the following feasible tuples of parameters. Uh, all of them have 64 uh, vertices. Uh, the valency is uh, 21, 28, 30. Uh, 35, 42, and 49. Uh, the sub uh, lambda grows by four, nexus grows by one, and uh, the size of a regular clique is eight. These are parameters of the block graphs of orthogonal arrays OA, A, A3, A4, A5, A6, respectively, and we are interested in both. Uh, stronger regular graphs, SRGs, SRGs, and strictly normal graphs, SNGs. The first and the fourth tuples 
are complementary uh, for stronger regular graphs and correspond to parameters of a Latin square graph and its complement respectively. The second and the third pupils uh, are complementary for stronger regular graphs and correspond to parameters of prolific Wallace and Wallace two constructions. The fifth pupil correspond to the parameters of the complement of eight times eight lattice. There exists a unique strong regular graph with these parameters. There are exactly 267 groups of order 64. According to the algorithm, the most difficult group are those that have many involutions. Thus, the most difficult group is C2 times C2 times so on times C2 six times. It has uh, 60, 64 elements. It is expected to take about two months to make computations over this group, and one month, one month has been passed already. In other cases, the time needed to execute the program uh, varies from several minutes to several days. Currently, only seven groups of order 64 among 267 uh, such groups are unfinished. They have numbers uh, given on the slide. So 267 is uh, uh, is is the group we uh, we discussed. C2 times C2, so one times C2, uh, six times. And uh, here is our findings. At least six strong regular graphs and no strictly no my graphs with with the first pupil of parameters. At least forty uh, strong regular graphs and at least six strictly no my graphs with parameter with the second pupil of parameters. And these six six uh, strictly no my graphs are the first known uh, strictly no my graphs with nexus three. At least one hundred. 23 strong regular graphs and at least 138 uh, uh, strictly normal graphs with parameters uh, given by uh, the uh, third pupil. And these graphs are the first known uh, vertex transitive graphs with these parameters. Uh, at least th uh, 13 strong regular graphs and a unique strictly normal graph with the fourth pupil of parameters. And the, the, this strictly no my graph is the first known strictly no my graph with Nexus uh, 5. Uh, note that some of the complements of the 13 stronger regular graphs have no regular clicks and thus cannot be Latin square graphs. It is known that for sufficiently large number of vertices, a, strict, uh, a stronger regular graph, graph with parameters of a Latin square graph is a Latin square graph. And we found a unique strong regular graph and no strictly normal graphs with the fourth, with the fifth pupil of parameters. Note that some of these graphs may be categorized over more than one group G and may be given by more than one subgroup H for the same group G. And let me complete my talk with further problems for investigation. We are interested in generalization of the obtained examples. Uh, also, for the stronger regular graphs, we found we need to make azomorphism tests with known examples. This may be difficult because Wallace and Wallace two constructions, which give strong regular graphs with uh, the second and the fourth pupil of parameters, are prolific. We are interested in investigating another feasible pupil of parameters, including open pupils of parameters of stronger regular graphs from uh, the list maintained by Brower. The smallest are given on the slide and we are interested in generalization of the general construction with use of a partition in the completely regular codes of radius one instead of a partition in the perfect one codes thank you very much for your attention well thank you sergey very much it is amazing project well actually uh, as for me i have a lot of questions but i'm not sure that we have enough time to discuss you talk right now. If there is uh, a question or just two questions to Sergey, so please. Well, uh, if not, then uh, let us send uh, Sergey again. 
Uh, the presentation will be available on the web page, and I'm sure that everyone who is interested to discuss these uh, uh, results can uh, contact to Sergey directly. Well, uh, let us thank again, Sergey. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. It was amazing talk. Thank you.